Hello everyone and welcome to Fire Emblem Fates Rev Rev Revelations. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, Crystal's joining me as I uh, promised. Uh, hi, Crystal. Hi. So, yeah, a lot of people at the time when this game came out hated this game. They said that it was the worst game of all time, said that it was ass, and that it was just an unfinished game. I mean, guys, but, okay, so, this being the worst game of all time, like, if you guys actually, like, played some of the worst games of all time, I don't think this is that bad. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I will agree. The story is shit. Like, I, like this and Conquest come, come pretty close to being some of the worst stories told in all the video games. Definitely. But, mm -hmm. this game being the worst of all time, I think this is pushing a little bit too far. I do think... Yeah. That in certain aspects, this game seems a bit rushed, like just a bit. Mm -hmm. And you'll see why when we get into like some of the later parts of the game, like in terms of the story and in terms of the units. Like Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. these things are just really bad. I like my my view is that if you have fun playing a game, it's a good game. Mm -hmm. You know, so like I the story is is awful, but <laughs> I have like. 600 hours because the gameplay is so much fun like engage too like it's a good game not the story but the gameplay it's it's so much fun like i the fact that i can reach for fates now what is it eight years later uh this came out in 26 nine yeah eight years later like that says a lot mm -hmm. i still want to play this game even after a new console has come out yeah and after just going through Birthright, I'm actually looking forward to playing this mm -hmm. route. Like, Jesus Christ, I forgot how bad, like, Birthright was in terms of just, like, yeah. gameplay. Like, I thought that, mm -hmm. like, I think the reason why was because I was coming off of Conquest and I went back into Birthright with you. And I think right. that, like, if I went into Birthright, then Conquest and then Re Relations, I think I would have, like, I think I actually would have hated, like, Revelations just like worse, but I think it's actually a blessing that I finished Birthright Second mm -hmm. because there's actually going to be enemy skills here and there's actually going to be some strategy because you know I'm gonna actually right. like you know challenge myself now. Maps have mechanics and things, you yeah. Know. And I think that's another reason why people like hate some of like the game play of this game is because of the gimmicks. Like, I think at the time, because like you know, like people were calling this like gimmick like emblem like i know that a lot of the gimmicks in the later parts of the game like really like just drag like the elevator mm -hmm. gimmick. yeah <laughs> like i'll say when a map has a good gimmick and one it just like sucks ass but there are some good gimmicks right. in revelations and then there are just some gimmicks that make me want to literally just like bash this 3ds but we'll get to those way later and i'll get to them when we get to them but for now we're just gonna like basically just take it nice and slow and just start up a new profile so i'm going to basically just like go through all this like because i already have like everything set up and i'm going to go with yep this and i went with a um, um a um let me see a luck a not a luck a a um, magic boon and a luck bay for my character, and I'll explain Ooh. that when we actually get into the actual like um uh, game why I'm up with that. So this first map of Revelations is actually uh, pretty hard uh, if you're not playing it right. So without further ado, Chapter Six: Into the Ground. I, I won't betray anyone. I won't fight against the people of Nor after you've cared for me for all these years. You and Camilla, Leo and Elise. You might not be related by blood, but you are family to me. You've been with me for as long as I can remember. Well said, little prince. What ties us together is thicker than blood. What are you saying, Ashley? You would discard <laughs> your true family and side with those who stand against us? No, I refuse to fight against my Hoshi and siblings either. They're not your siblings. Yeah. Ryoma, we might not have spent much time together, but you are my family too. You, Hinoka, Takumi, Sakura, I don't want to fight with you on this or any other battlefield. We feel the same, Ashley. But I can't side with either of you against the other. I cannot betray any of my family. 
Ashley, what are you going to do then? I'm so sorry, both of you. Please set your swords aside. I'm sure we can, I'm sure a peaceful solution exists if we could just... I have heard enough. Ashley, I can see what you're trying to accomplish here. As your older brother, however, it is my duty to teach you the truth. Not while I still stand. Ashley is finally back with his family. I will not let you take him away again. No, wait, Xander Ryoma? Don't think for a moment I won't let you take Ashley without a fight. It seems the only right to cross swords with my opposing eagle. As the heirs of our respective families, we don't set why don't we settle this here and now? Prepare yourself then. I will defeat you in defense of my kingdom and my brother. Please stop please both of you stop. We can still talk this out and sit Yeah Yeah God, it's no use. They won't listen to me. I'll have to step in if I want to stop them. I'll have to get their attention if we want them to stop fight stop from fighting. I have an idea. Why don't we attack the groups closest to us? If we defeat the leaders, Ryoma and Xander can't possibly ignore us. Ooh, I made it in time. Lord Ashley, I'm so glad you're safe. Felicia, what are you doing here? That's a fine greeting, and here I was panicking after we got separated. I spent all my time trying to figure out where you went. It took a while, but I finally caught up with you. I don't know what's going on, but you can count on me to help. Thank you, I'm grateful to have you here. So, who exactly are we fighting? Everyone seems really worked up, but they don't look like they're our allies. The short version is, we're up against the Hoshin army and the Norian army right now. I've chosen not to side with either of them. You can't be serious. Two armies? What have you gotten yourself into, my lord? I suppose it doesn't matter. Your enemies are my enemies. I'll help you as best I can. So, for this first fight, you have to defeat both the bosses within five turns. Now, uh, now, at first glance, you might think it's Xander and Ryoma, but thankfully it's not. Yeah. It's just this Cavalier and this um, Samurai right here. And this first map can be a little bit... Um, you can game over on this chapter pretty quickly if you don't know how to tackle mm -hmm. it. Though, thankfully, I have played this, so... Uh, it can if you if, it can be a little bit RNG like um, mm -hmm. dependent if you're not lucky. Oh wait, I forgot to adjust my just my settings. Let me see. There we go. So I think if I go right here, I should be fine. And don't go in the range of. Okay, nice. I can kill this guy on the next turn. Oh, nice. I even dodged that. So the thing is, though, that don't go in, like, your siblings' range because they will attack you and mm -hmm. they can kill you. Like, Yeah, they will kill you. <laughs> uh, you probably can take Takumi. Probably not Hinoka. Ryoma, you can't. Just, you can't. Alright, please hit this. Don't miss. Thank you. Okay. So that's the first side down. And first level up. This probably isn't gonna matter. Hit points, skill, speed, res. Nice. And I'm pretty sure that prevents the wrestling army movie. Actually, it's defeating my former mm -hmm. commander. What is he up to? Does he intent really intend to fight against us? We can't handle fighting on two fronts. Everyone hold position. Remember, you can handle fighting on like 50 fronts. Like, what the right. hell? Like, <laughs> this makes no sense. He killed a guy. Hold position. Like, Jesus. So now you want to really, like, this is, like, a little bit, like, unfriendly, I feel, because you have to literally, like, just, like, book it to the other side. And, like, right around, like, turn four, and if you're not lucky with this side, then you're probably not going to be able to defeat the commander. So I'm really hoping that the cavalier, like, goes for, no, that's, yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. Because if we don't kill that fighter this turn, um, then we're not going to be able to pull the Cavalier. Uh, oh, okay, the Thief goes first. Okay. That might not be good. It depends on how much damage the fighter does. Okay, nice. We I kill him, but I'm worried that... Please dodge. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, this is what I hate. It's really RNG front... It's really RNG dependent, this map. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, you're fine. Okay, I actually kill him. Nice. And I'm pretty sure just killing both these guys just ends the map. Yes, it does. Please. Okay, nice. Good. 
Alright, that was a little bit worrying. It wasn't easy, but I think we got them to stop fighting. Why, Ashley? Why would you turn on us this way? Even if we aren't both related, don't you feel any loyalty at all? Seriously, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. Ashley, why would you betray Hoshido? Have you lost all sense of justice? You don't understand, Ryoma. I haven't betrayed you. I always thought of you as a brother. Damn it all. Spread word among the troops. Ashley has turned traitor. From this moment forth, he is our enemy and should be captured on sight. Why will you listen to me, Ashley? Even now, I still remember the agony I felt the day you were kidnapped. I know we can't get back the time we lost, but I still hope that someday we will reunite Ira and I as family. I see now that I was living a fantasy. Tell everyone, Ashley is truly lost to us. If he insists on becoming our enemy, then all we can do is fight him. Roma, I... Wait, Ashley. Nothing you say now will reach either of them. We need to retreat for now. We can't afford to be caught. Xander, Ryoma, I promise you will understand one day. Ooh, we managed to escape, but I'm sure they're still on our trail. We can't leave things as they are now. We'll be branded traitors by both kingdoms. Listen to me. You'll lose everything if you don't choose a side. It's either Hoshido or Nor. No, there's a third option. I can choose not to support either side. But how? I have family in Hoshido. I also have family in Nor. Even if I were to lose everything, even if all of them despise me, I can't choose a side with one against the other. I simply can't do that. I don't care if I lose everything. This is what I decided. I see. You have you have to be willing to risk a lot to accomplish something major. I suppose you're right. My own mother lost her life protecting Noor. But I don't think she regretted her choice. She died to protect the ones she loved. I've made up my mind as well. I will follow you down the path you've chosen. Azura, thank you. All right, and let's see this. Yep, all right. I'm gonna skip this cutscene because uh, copyright is giving this as well. And I think, okay, nice. So I can just reset the console. So I've already done like the base building preparations and everything, and I'm not really gonna be doing supports in this playthrough because they're mostly the same. I'll do S supports, mm -hmm. but other than that, I'm mm -hmm. not really gonna be doing a lot of supports on camera. So yeah, that's very fair. So, just like uh, standard tradition, we're going to be going through and rating the characters. And our ratings will probably be different compared to mm -hmm. uh, what we rated the units in um, uh, Birthright and Conquest. Though, trust me, later on the ratings will definitely change up a bit. Yeah. So, first things first, let's uh, just get into... So, let me just get through, go through the supports. The only supports that are different here are Madison's and Azura's. And because, like, Azura's and Madison's, like, or the Avatar supports change depending on what pride you're on. Like, that's the only support that's different. So, first things first, let's uh, go over the units. So, first we have, um, Madison. And I went with an Avatar that has a Magic Boon and a Luck Bane. Now, why did I do that? Well, the thing is, though, as you see here, I have a Dread Score. So, I'm actually going to be a Dread Fighter because... I honestly think that um, in Birthright, Saizo could have made use good use of the um, Flame Shuriken as well as like mm -hmm. regular Shurikens. But why not have a character that can not only do can do like be busted with not only the Flame Shuriken Felicia's play, but also be really good with both the physical Shurikens? And I think um, me as a Dreadfire will be will make one of the best use of that. Plus, I'll have access to axes and swords. I wanted to have a class that uses the Yato, but isn't like broken. But the thing is, though, that I know for a fact that if I did that, I would be. It would probably be the ninja. And since we're gonna be getting Kaze, Kagero, Saizo all over mm -hmm. again, I'd want to use like maybe like one or two of them, and not just have like a bunch of characters that have a like a bunch of like just shurikens running around. Because shurikens are pretty good in this game, and like we were running three sh like we were running three shuriken users in our last playthrough, Crystal, and. I yeah. <laughs> think that I would like to tone that down a bit in this playthrough. And if I have the avatar as a shuriken and sword user, I think like like Cog I think like Saizo I know for a fact Kaz is like maybe obsolete outside of his skip of his speed. Saizo may will basically be like us discounted. And Kagero well Kagero's in a league role. I think she can basically yeah, be one she of the, is. I think she can be one of the few units that will be able to keep up with Mass in this playthrough. 
So I think I'll read Madison in five stars. Like he'll have access to swords, axes, shurikens. He'll get some pretty good skills. And he'll have like the, the, one of the best magic stats to make good use of playing shuriken and flesh just playing in this playthrough. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, oh, wait, actually. I think this plan is... Oh. I, meant to I think up, this plan is really solid. And I meant to pull up his growth rates. Uh, so, let me see. Dreadfighter. There we go. Yeah, he'll have, like, 60 HP and strength. 30, wait, what the hell? Why is this... Wait, this shouldn't be right, actually. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, he'll have 60 HP, 55 strength, 50 magic, 45 skill, 65 speed, 25 luck, 40 defense, and 50 res. Like, those are not bad growth rates for him. Like, no, those are really good. Yeah, like, outside of the luck, and already my luck is like, luck in this game is so, like, such a dump stat because, like, you can get, like, God's icons, like, if I'm gonna give a God's icon to anyone, it'll be him. And outside of, like, the luck, Everything else is like really good. I'm surprised my res is so high. Mm -hmm. so, I think that's Dreadfighter coming in to help you. Yeah. And your Magic Bane. Uh, wait, what? Magic Bane? What do you mean? Or your Magic Boon, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, like, because I think if I, like, let's switch this to, like, Master Ninja. Eh, yeah, it's still not too bad, actually. But yeah, I think that's definitely Dreadfighter, like, helping out Magic and Res. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Star Rating? Oh, yeah, five out of five stars. Right. Yeah, it's pretty hard to mess up Corrin, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do that once we hit level 10. I could possibly just buy Dragon Fang, but, you know, it's great. I'll just buy him, just class change him. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's only 1500. Mm -hmm. And we, we're going to get money, like, pretty quickly. So, yeah, let's just uh, dread scroll. So, yeah, I'll get two HP, one strength, two skill, three speed. I'll lose one luck. I'll get one defense, and I'll gain seven res. Seven and one res. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah. First uh, class change already, like, after the first map. And there we go. Dreadfighter Madison. Nice. Alright, and I don't... Do I have an arm swollen here? Okay, I only have one. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna actually use it. Because I would like to actually use some daggers, and Felicia's our only other dagger user, and she's not a good one at that. And... Oh, a hammer. Ah, uh, Arthur's axe. Okay, there we go. And... Oh, okay. All right, so let's move on to Azura. So I'm just going to get the ring over with five stars, like a dancer. Mm -hmm. Like, there's only one game I can't give a dancer five stars. It's not this one. Dancers are just good. I have nothing else to say about Azura. <laughs> yeah, no, five out of five stars. She's useful no matter which path you take. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Yeah, I'm going to give her a star for her. I think she's like, needs a... All right, now we come up to a unit that's not five stars, so Felicia. So, unfortunately, um, because I actually have, this is a save file that used originally a Jacob or a female corn, Jacob would usually take the spot. So Jacob would usually come in at a higher level. I think he's like level like three at the time that, when we got him. Felicia, unfortunately, is level one. And that's, the thing is though, she's the more magic of the two. And that's actually bad because at this stage, you don't have a magic shuriken. Like, I think the Felicia's Plate is D rank, but I don't have a Felicia's Plate. And the, um... Oh, yeah, you do. Wait, what? It's C rank. Felicia's Plate? Oh, I do. Okay. But, oh, yeah. But the Magic Shurikens are C rank. And I know for a, friend, for a fact the Flame Shuriken is. And that's mm -hmm. unfortunate because she needs to basically get an additional rank in order to get to C rank. But even then, like, her stats are just not that impressive. Like, she's a stab user at the end of the day. Like, no matter what path you take, and I think that this path, this is, like, what she's mainly going to be doing. Once we get better staff uses, which isn't too far behind, she's definitely going to fall off. But I do still think that she'll have a niche. And, mm -hmm. I, but the thing is, though, you get both Jacob and Flora in this path. And Jacob is just better, in my opinion, because he's more physical-based. And Flora, I think, if you actually intend to use her, she, she can reach Bifrost rank in this path pretty quickly. But still, Felicia, she's good early game, but you're going to get better heroes later on. 
I'll rate Felicia three stars out of five. Like, I don't think there's anything special about her. No matter, mm -hmm. like, no matter what. I just think Jacob and Flora is just better, regardless. No matter what path you take. Yeah, that's very fair. Um, I have actually never played as male Corrin, so I didn't know that Felicia only comes in at level one. Um, and that her base stats were... Oh, no, 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 like it's, no, 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 it's, you know, it's, you know, if, like, if I had a male Corrin, like, if I, oh, had, yeah, it depends on, yeah, like, I get it, I, yeah, this is I get a female mean. save mm -hmm. file, that's why we have Felicia at level one, like, if we were, if this was you, and, then Jacob would come in, he would come then in, then Jacob would be, like, level something, yeah. yeah, he would be coming at the level that you left him off at when he, when you lost yeah. him, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I didn't know her base stats were like this shaky. Yeah, like five, um, nine, because nine. yeah, I'm used to her coming in at like level 14 or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know. And by then, it's already like she is a much better staff user than Jacob at that point. Um, you yeah, know, um, she seems a little less reliable <laughs> in this path, or um, as a male. Corin, because you have to deal with those few levels where she has five strength, and like you said, the magic daggers are C. Well, when she comes in, when you're female Corin, she can already use the magic daggers. Yeah, so this is definitely a um, bit of a downgrade for her. And her, yeah. and her base has her way better. Yeah. However, she does have higher magic than Jacob, mm -hmm. um, so she can be a better staff user than him. Yeah, um, I think in reverse, I think he comes with like nine strength and five magic. Probably, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I like that she has more magic because she is a staff user. But if you want something more combat oriented, you're gonna have to go through that D rank to get to the yeah the magic weapons. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I'm also gonna give her three out of five because she's still very useful. All right, and I just need to pause so that way I can actually. And we actually have one more unit to go over, and that mm -hmm. is uh, you, Crystal. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm here. Actually. Yeah. So I actually. So the th reason why Crystal's here is because that um uh, months ago I actually asked her like back when this playthrough was first starting out to um make mm -hmm. if she could make a copy of herself be inserted into the game, and. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Crystal. Unfortunately, um, corns that you get through like my castle, um, they can't use the Yato, but she's most likely going to be the Nora Noble of this playthrough. Because mm -hmm. if I wasn't going Dreadfire, I'd probably go Nora Noble, but Crystal will be yeah. able to fill that no, slot. I... That's what? Wait, what? what? That's, oh, that's what I did on my most recent revelation, is I made myself a Nora Noble. Yeah. So, um, I think you, based on these base sets, you went with a Strength Boon and a Res mm -hmm. Bane? I think it is a Res Bane, yeah. It's either a Res Bane or a Luck Bane, but my luck looks pretty high for a Luck Bane. Yeah, um, and the thing is, though, that's, like, I lost... I 15 Strength. <laughs> yeah, you have 15 Strength at level, like, oh my god, is this gonna be another, like, is this gonna be another... Bro broken crystal like from our most mm -hmm. recent playthrough like Jesus Christ like you proved that skill hero with defense bane was like bust as hell but I'm was also good yeah yeah so <laughs> um with your growth rates um they're actually pretty good like you have 60 mm -hmm. HP 70 strength 40 magic 55 skill 55 speed 50 luck 45 defense and 30 res honestly even if it is a res bane or a luck bane mm -hmm. Like, either way, your growth rates are not it's that still, bad. Yeah. Like, there's not a single one. Like, the only thing that's a little bit mm -hmm. low is the res. And that's mm -hmm. a 30. And the magic at 40. But other than that, I think you're going to be like, I am honestly seeing who's going to be better near you <laughs> in this mm -hmm. playthrough. And, yeah, and like, it'll be, it'll be, you know, like, with that 40% magic growth, I can probably actually make use of a Dragonstone and then later on Tomes Yeah, that was, um, yeah, as oh, a Nor Noble. Oh, but I would say definitely like feel free to give me a Dragonstone yeah, or whatever. I can, give you, I can give you my Dragonstone because I'm not using Yeah, because might as well have a tank somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah it, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have big strength. Yeah, I mean, with the Dragonstone, <laughs> you have 15 defense and strength. Like. Whew. That's better nice. than me. Like, you're going to be our tank for probably the first 
third of revelations because uh, we don't get cool. a lot of reliable tanks. And yeah. uh, the next person who's considered tanky is uh, not. So yeah. uh, I look forward to seeing the strength boon because I actually haven't finished the playthrough that I'm doing with a strength boon. Um, my latest revelation one, I did a skill boon. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we did this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. But yeah, strength boon <laughs> looks pretty busted. So. Yeah. Like, you're, we're both the same level, and you already have higher strength than me. 